Good afternoon to all of the students. Uh, we have studied uh, values, equations, motions of equations in our last class. We will continue the same topic uh, for the derivations of the equations of motions in uniform speed. So, in our last class, I will just revise what we have studied in our last class that we have derived uh, equations v equals to u plus a t. That is the equations one, Mo the equations one of the motions. Now, how we derive this one or revise form or summarize form, v is the final velocity, u is the initial velocity, final means ending velocity and u means that is the initial means the first velocity, a is acceleration and t is time taken to gain the final velocity. So, uh, these are the four parameters, these are the four parameters of the equations of the motions. So, by regarding these parameters, we calculate how we calculate that one? we use the definitions of acceleration due to means sorry accelerations. What is accelerations from the definitions a equals to b minus u upon t yes. From the definitions of accelerations we get that the accelerations means the change in velocity with time or we can rate of change of velocity and the rate of change of velocity how we uh, take it out final velocity minus initial velocity upon time taken. So, after that we have cross multiplications a t equals to b minus u. Then u we have taken this side then a t and we can write this one like that u plus a t. So, in this way we have derived the equations or the first equations of the motions. Now, at what times or where it is been used? So, every equations or the every numerical uh, problems which is been given to you at that time the three parameter is been given to you and you have to find out one parameter. So, you have to see properly which are the parameter that is been uh, given in questions and what are the parameters that you have to find out find it out. Like this formula is especially used for to find out the velocity of the object when the initial velocity time taken and acceleration is been given. Means to find out the velocity of the object having a initial velocity acceleration and time taken. Just one of the example we will do simply a bus is traveling with a, a velocity of 2 meter per second and it accelerated accelerated 4 meter per second square. Or it is it may be not given accelerated 4 meter per second square with a time of 8 second calculate calculate the final velocity of a bus so, while solving the problem, there are certain rules that we have to give. What is given? First, we have to note it down what is given in the problem. Solutions. What is given? A bus is traveling. Traveling means it is not in rest. It is moving. Therefore, the velocity is there anything written in this velocity initial or final anything? No. So, by seeing this one, we have to find out 
this what velocity is given to you by seeing this one by seeing the sentence you have to find out which velocity is been provided to you in questions that is what is written a bus is traveling with a velocity of 2 meter per second traveling traveling means it is moving so we write what that is initial given initial velocity initial velocity i equals to how much 2 meter per second then again what is given and its accelerate 4 meter per second square there is nothing uh, confusion that is acceleration is given acceleration a equals to how much 4 meter per second square with a time 8 seconds. So, time is also given. How much? T equals to 8 seconds. And calculate the final velocity. So, final velocity, final velocity V equals to what? It is given in your questions. So, what we derived just now, which we, what was the equation? V equals to U plus A T. So, how many parameter is been given here in the questions? Yes, how many parameter are given in this questions? I means initial velocity, U is given, A is given, T is given and V is to find out. That means, we are provided the three parameters and what we have to calculate? One parameter. Every equations will have like this and every equations we have four parameter. Three of the equations of the motions we have four parameter in which three parameter will be provided to us and we have to find out one parameter. So, for one parameter which formula is suitable you have to know that one. So, how we will calculate the final velocity according to formula what? According to the formula what? V equals to U plus A T. Then how much will be U? 2 plus well, how much? 4 into 8. So, how much? That will be 34 meter per second. So, in this way easily you can calculate this one. So, I think so you are clear about the first equation. So, in which equations you will use that um, formula or which types of problems you will use that formula, it is used to calculate the final velocity or when the acceleration initial velocity and time is given or we can use this one in any of the four parameter. Final velocity is given, u is given and t is given a is been find out then you we can use that formula also. Now, comes to the next one equations 2. So, the equations 2 of the motions is what? S equals to u t plus half a t square. So, we are going to prove these equations. Let us, let us suppose, let Suppose a body has an initial velocity, initial velocity means u. Suppose a body has initial velocity u and it is in uniform accelerations a. It is in uniform acceleration a for the time t, for the time t. So, that it attain the final velocity how much? It attain the final velocity v. Let the distance travel by the moving body in this time be s. So, before deri derivations we should write this uh, sentence. So, that it will be clear that what we are denoting on means a means what? That is acceleration. U means what? 
that is initial velocity. So, the distance traveled by the moving body in the time t can be calculated by considering its average velocity. How we can calculate, how we will derive by using average velocity. So, in our previous class, what we have studied about the average velocity? The average velocity is average velocity. We can write like this. Average velocity is what? Average means the mean value, isn't it? Average means the mean value of mean value of what? Mean value of what? That is the final velocity v plus initial velocity. u okay upon what that is average means two parameter are there so we use divide by two or we in short form what we will write average velocity equals to v plus u upon two so i think you are clear about why v is written v means the final velocity and u is what u is the average velocity. So, what we have to find out? U t plus half a t square, is not it? We have to find out what? U t plus half a t square. So, what we will do that another one we, what we know that what from equations what, what uh, one what we uh, derive from equations one putting the value putting the value of v from sorry we can do that one from equation equation 1. So, we can put the value of equation 1. What is the equation 1? What is the value of equation 1? That is what? Average velocity what we find out? V means u t sorry u plus what was there? u plus a t. What we have written? Yes, the first equation is u plus a t plus u upon 2. So, I have done a bit differ in your book. The first the average velocity formula is been used and then again uh, it is been done, but I am little bit changed the equations. So, we have to average velocity. Do you have here average velocity anywhere? No. What we have to find out? We have to find out the distance cover. So, for the distance cover, there is another formula that we have studied. The distance cover means what? Cover can be calculated by what? That is the average velocity. into time taken. Are you getting? In your book, you may find the derivations, it has been put here. Okay. But do not be confused that, first we have done simplify, then only we have right this. So, it makes you easier for that. Okay. Distance cover means average velocity upon time taken. Let us take this one down. So, putting the value of average velocity. Average velocity means v into t. Yes, distance cover means s. Now, what we will do? We will put the value of average velocity. What is the putting the value of putting the value of 
average velocity in equation. What? That is S equals to u plus a t upon 2 plus u we can break a long bracket into t. Okay. Shall I write, rub this one? I think I can do that one. So, then what we have S equals to u plus a t upon 2 sorry, uh, plus u into t. Let us op open this one. So, we can write 2 u. Yes, shall, uh, shall I write this one? Yes, it can be easily written 2u plus a t upon 2. Again, what we can do that one? Yes, or sorry, you have to write this one, or then what we will do? We will do we will separate this one s equals to lcm can be separate into t okay so 2 u we will open this one we will multiply t with this one also multiplied u t upon 2 plus t into t t square upon 2 okay so this can be cancelled yes this can be easily cancelled. Then what is it come? Then it comes S equals to, therefore, S equals to U T plus half A T square. We can write this one half because 1 by 2. It can be needed. So, the formula is been proved. That means S equals to U T plus half a t square. So, at what time this equations is been used? These equations will be used to find out the distance covered by the object where the accelerations time and initial velocity is been given. Initial velocity then time an acceleration is been given at that time we use this formula. So, shall we do one of the numerical problems for that so that you will be clear? Let us try one numerical for um, I will not write a long sentence I will write a simple sentence. So, let us suppose let us suppose uh, an object is traveling with a velocity of 2 meter per second ok 2 meter per second having an acceleration accelerations of 4 meter per second square <coughs> and the time taken time it travels travels is 10 second okay now distance cover is to be final. So, what I say that in which type of uh, numerical problem you will see use this uh, formula those problem in which the three parameter what are what is there u t and a t means a t and u is known to you and you have to find out the distance cover then you it is easier for you to the, use this formula. So, traveling with a velocity means it is not in it means rest therefore, what happened it is a initial velocity. So, what is given u equals to how much 
two meter per second. Then acceleration is how much? Four meter per second square. Then time it cover equals to ten second. Then distance cover as it is not known, we have to find out. Okay? We have to find out this one. So, I am doing in short form to means to know that how it is it is been used in numerical problem, the equations how it is been used. So, three parameters are known, one parameter is unknown. So, we have we have an equations of motion of motion what that is what s equals to u t plus half a t square yes how much u is given 2 into time how much 10 plus half a how much 4 into t how much 10, 10 square, okay, 10 square means 10 into 10, 100. So, how much it will be? 2 gone, 20 plus 2 into 100, means 2 to 0 meter. So, it covered the distance of 220 meter. So, in this way, we we have to use this formula. Okay? So, what we have studied now? We have studied the equation of motion of motion. Which are the derivations we have done? The first one is V equals to U T uh, sorry U plus A T. The first equations what we derive that is V equals to oh, sorry V equals to U plus A T we have derived. Then another equation what we derive S equals to U T plus half A T square. So, first and second equations is been derived that is been <coughs> done. Now, comes to the another one that is the third equations we we will go to this one. The third equations of the motion is what? That is the V square equals to U square what? Plus 2 A S or minus 2 S that is plus 2 A S. So, for this also let us suppose, let us suppose a body has the initial velocity U. So, suppose a body has an initial velocity u because u is necessary and uniform acceleration is a for the time t, then so that it attain the final velocity v, so it attain the final velocity <coughs> what v, let the distance cover by the moving travel by the moving body in time, this time is s and the distance travel by the moving body in time t can be calculated by considering the average velocity. So, it can also be calculated by the using average velocity. So, the average velocity, average velocity what we have written? that is average velocity equals to final velocity velocity plus initial velocity initial velocity upon 2 that is what v plus u upon 2 a v athwa average velocity. Average velocity equals to what? That is the V plus V plus U upon 2. Then again what we know that, again what we know that, that the 
average velocity is what or distance cover is what s equals to what we have written average velocity into time taken yes average velocity into time taken v equals to so what if average velocity equals to s upon t can we write this one can we derive this one yes that can be derived so distance cover equals to average velocity into time taken so that can be average velocity means s upon t so be remember that one in equations to we use this formula s equals to sorry yes s equals to a v into t we use this formula in equations to be remember that one in that one we use this formula s equals to u plus uh, u into t but here for equations 3 for equations 3 what we are using we do not need t because t is it not there in the formula therefore what we will use we will use average velocity equals to average velocity means s equals to a into t then what we will do a v equals to what that is s upon t so can we write the velocity average velocity s upon t here can we write this one yes of course we we can write that one so that means average velocity is this one then we will take t there s equals to v plus u upon 2 into t. So, the, uh, see this two equations is t is there is t is there no. So, therefore, we have to take out this one it is not necessary necessary in the equation therefore, what we have to do we have to find out the value of t from the other equations. So, what equations we have? We have the first equations is there v equals to u plus a t. Yes, that equation is there. So, v minus u upon v minus u equals to a t. It can be? Yes. Then t can be v minus u upon a. So, what we can do? What we can do? Putting the value, putting the value of, of t from equation 1 of motion. Okay. So, what is the value of t? That is s equals to v plus u upon 2 this is the one and t is v minus u upon a ok. So, so v plus u upon what is there v plus u upon 2 upon v minus u upon a. So, can we write this one v plus u upon v minus u upon 2 a. Can we write this one or can we write? Yes, I think so you can write this one ok. Then 2 a can be brought here. 2 a s equals to v plus u upon v minus u. So, what you have studied in mathematics about this one? In mathematics what you have studied? a minus b a plus b means a square minus p square. So, a s equals to v square minus u square. So, u we can brought here v square equals to what or what 
u square plus 2a s. So, we can write this one in v square equals to u square plus 2a s. So, the third derivation is also done. So, in this way, these equations can be used to find out the velocity when the initial velocity distance cover and the acceleration is been given of the body. So, these are the three derivations of motions that we have studied till now. So, tomorrow we will continue from the numerical problems we will practice in uh, mean uh, uh, by yourself. If there are any problems will be there you can consent to your class teacher or you can message or uh, in comment box we will I will help you and the another things we will start tomorrow at the law of motions or inertia. So, thank you to all of you for your kindly watch on the video. Thank you.